Folks, we're back for a special show for the Simply Trade podcast. We've got some great folks on. We've got a wonderful panel that are some folks that have been longtime friends of ours. And it's uh, this is a great organization that we're going to be talking about, Lalo, uh, today. But this is one, too, that before we get too far into it, the conference season is upon us. And there's all kinds of activities going on. And, uh, and, and we're going to be talking about... Uh, meetings on the Hill, if you will, the legislative summit type things. And there's all kinds of folks doing things, but I think this is going to be a good show. Well, this one in particular, um, yes. So we've been to conferences already um, that we've never even attended in the past. And uh, they've been great. It's been opening up some doors for us. But um, with regards to this specific episode, we're going to focus on, like you said, um, the, the, the meetings that were held a couple of weeks ago from recording date today. Um, so they were um, the, the legislative summit, uh, and we'll hear a little bit more about that. But specifically, uh, we have NAFTZ, the, the group uh, from NAFTZ, that are going to um, summarize and talk to us about any cool or significant takeaways or conversations or maybe even gossip, <laughs> who knows, um, <laughs> but what's going on over there, you know, is the, so what, what, what they're hearing, um, kind of falls in, uh, in line with our previous episode. We just had this episode last week, uh, where, uh, we had Lila Landis on the show and she was talking about what to expect on this election year. Well, goodness, a lot transpired. You know, we were really happy. Uh, we start off our conference with uh, bringing everybody in for the conference portion of the two days where, you know, we have the opportunity to hear directly from folks like USTR, CBP, uh, and and uh, other agencies. And one of the sessions that I was really excited about is we had a panel of the folks that work on government relations from some of our, what we refer to as our sister associations. And so uh, we, we can expand on that a little bit as we have our conversation, but those were some of the things that I really took away from the first day. And then uh, new for us was the way we approached our Hill visits on the second day. We had uh, a lot of the members that were there for first day uh, hung around for the second day, uh, so many so that we had six different teams on the Hill uh, and uh, we had nearly we had nearly 40 meetings uh, in one day uh, up on the hill a couple of weeks ago. And I'll tell you what, I got to I got to bed that night and I was like, why in the world does my uh, body ache so much? And I looked at my phone. I had thirty five thousand steps that day. So uh, I think that might have been the reason. So with all those meetings and like you were saying, on the House side, on the Senate side and all of that, um, we had a, a lot of great meetings with both the staffers and a couple of the groups uh, teams had the opportunity to meet with a member of Congress as well. All right. So let's talk about this. Is that did you uh, have the same agenda for all six teams and the same message for all six? Or were you trying to do a strategic thing here where you were focused in on particular points in one uh, area of the hill versus the other? That's a great question. And I'll let, Mel- I'll, I'll answer first and let Melissa jump in after that. Um, but, but, you know, clearly, clearly as an association, you know, there are issues that are affecting our membership right now that we want to drive home. Right. So we certainly had talking points for, um, for the individuals who are going on the teams, but it's also recognizing the member of Congress that you're going to meet with, right. And understanding what's important to that member um, and making sure that that member understood what our message was and how it could fit within that particular member. Members message. I think that was the other point um, you raised earlier about it being an election year. Certainly, that's something we're very cognizant of. But I think the in, the important thing about this program and the message we want to get across is that this program it doesn't matter who's in office. This program is is creating U.S. jobs and economic prosperity, regardless of who happens to be uh, you know in the White House. So that's another important thing for members of Congress to actually hear how it can fit hand in glove with what they're trying to accomplish. Yeah, so we talked about, you know, this was our our largest amount of participation that we've had from our membership. Part of that, we were really excited to actually get our NAFTZ member in front of their congressional member to explain to them, you know, what the program's about, how they use it. It was really important that more of those stories get told directly to the congresspeople as opposed to us filtering that, like you were talking about, Andy. So 
So each group had a sort of a unique theme in terms of who they were speaking with and what kind of operations were happening in their state so that they could focus on the benefits particular to that district or that state. But then meanwhile, of course, we have our own associational priorities that we also wanted to talk uh, with the members as well. Once they understood a little more about the program, we, we wanted to make sure we got the educational piece in first. After the member of Congress has that eye-opening experience, they want to help, then it kind of goes back to what's, what is their position on different trade issues? And then we certainly would want to find those issues that, that are most meaningful to them, that resonate with them, and then we can work uh, together to, to see what we can do. And that's kind of some of the results that we're, we're seeing in the feedback we're, we're getting from those uh, meetings that we had a couple of weeks ago. Um, we had positive reception. We're, we're anxious and hopeful. You know, um, we got to see some trade legislation come out this year. And so that's we're definitely going to keep an eye out for opportunities. But it has been a long road. Mm-hmm.